Okay guys, this is not really a tutorial per se, but I'm going to show you how Moto Sculpt Tools rival ZBrushes. Now I'm no artist, but I'm going to show you that we got, it's just show you an example of the tools and you can just imagine how good it is. Um, this is the only application that I know of besides Mudbox. This is the only application I know of besides Mudbox that competes with ZBrush. And I like this better. So, this you can see here, I have this little ship I've modeled. And I'm going to be using it, but we're not going to use it right now. We're going to use it in conjunction. So let's open my head here. This is a preformed head. And I'm going to go in here and let's get rid of the eyes. I don't want them. And let's get rid of the hair because I don't want to work with that either. And let's go to our shader tree and let's get rid of any materials that might be in there. Okay, this is where you guys need to start. We're starting with a base head. You all probably don't have this base head, but um, I just really want to go over the modeling, the sculpting tools with you. We're going to change this face into an old man, and we're going to change him into a police officer, and he's going to man that vehicle and all that good stuff, and we'll go through and texture it, but we're going to start with this. So let's go to our sculpt and paint tools, or sculpt tools, and we're going to start with inflate. I want to select my soft brush and my nozzle because I have a Wacom. And I'm going to turn symmetry on in my X. So now I have symmetry. Okay, so let's go in here. And adjust this here. As you can see, I'm painting right on and it's pretty symmetrical. Hold the control key to push. The shift key to smooth. And push him in a little bit like that. We're going to grab our move tool. I want to make him frown. Because he's going to be an older fella. Let's go back to our inflate tool. Let's work on our chin. Move here. Okay, now we're molding our molding our big old chin here. Now this is kind of kind of going to be a cartoony type character. Let's push up under here a little bit, make that a little more defined. Let's go in here and bring out our lips a little bit. Now I'm just right clicking to adjust the size of my brush. That brings his lips up a little bit. Makes him a little more poofy. Let's go back to our move tool. Move the lips up a little. I'm going to go to my carve tool here. And I want to define this little bridge in his nose. Let's go back to our inflate tool. Let's Inflate him out like that. Let's do the side too. Pooch that forehead out a little more. Now, let's work on our nose. Let's just zoom in here and work on this. Make it a little fatter. Like so. Let's grab our move. Now we have a honker for an old cartoon character that's going to be manning this police vehicle. Okay, let's go back to our inflate tool. Let's Carve around on this a little more. 
Make him a little more old looking, a little more sunk in. Let's go back to our car tool real fast. And let's put a little carve in right there. Let's go to our inflate tool. Let's move his eyes around a little. Make them a little more sad. Okay, now we got a good start to our old man. We want him to be over exaggerated a whole lot. Because that's the whole point of cartoon type character. Now as you can see we have went from a pretty decent looking head there until an older got an older look and we still got to put the wrinkles in and we can do all that no problem the finer details this is just basically the start and how the deform tools work and how you'd go about just basically getting started in your model okay Looks like we got a good start here with our old man. So let's cut the video off, and I'll see you guys in the next part. We'll make him some goggles. Later, guys.